thanks for coming in early. No worries. Everything all right? Uh, well, I don't know. Is it? How do you mean? Well, Carla, you know, you got to admit her, her behavior was really odd yesterday in the pub. Yeah, she did seem a bit out of it. A bit? She seemed really on edge to me. Well, probably just had a bit of a stressful day. And that's what I'm worried about. You know, if, if her stress levels are getting that high, you, you said she had some kind of uh, well, issues before, so a, a, a breakdown? Oh, yeah, that was completely different circumstances, though. I don't mean, she, she's been fine for like three years. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but maybe we should keep an eye on her. You know, for her sake, as, as much as anything. I mean, I've seen plenty of high flyers crack under pressure, and it's not pretty, you know, for them or their families. Havisham meeting. What meeting? The one I scheduled for this afternoon. I don't know anything about it. I didn't get an invite. Well, somebody's cancelled it. Oh, don't look at me. You told me yesterday that meeting was off. What? Do you not remember? No, I don't. Uh, would you like me to call him for you? <laughs> no, thank you. Stephen, the photocopy of paper is running low. Could you go and sort it, please? Whatever you say, boss. Hey, Carla Barlow. Right, Dick, what, what are you talking about? OK, but you, you've cancelled the meeting. Well, you must have done because... All right, just uh, tell you what, stay there. I'll, I'll be right with you. Hey, why don't you let me go instead? Why? You seem a little... Out of sorts. I'm fine, Stephen. She's been drinking. Possibly, I, I don't know. Well, sh shouldn't we go and stop her? Well, I don't see how we uh, can if she's determined. Maybe she'll be okay with a little fresh air. Anyway, at least I can get on with some stuff here. We're a meeting. Well, the Jennings order's in the back. I'm supposed to deliver it by four. Well, why'd you give her the keys? She's my boss. Well, why didn't you check with us? Am I in trouble? No, it's, it's no coat. Just go get yourself a brew. Why'd you keep giving me tea breaks today? Because you deserve them. Right, go on, toddle on. Hey, get out of the van, Carla. She shouldn't be driving. We know. Carla, open the door. Oh, Carla, please. <laughs> Too right. Paul, get off the bike. Try to stay still, sir. Way to get that thing off him. You're right. I'm so sorry. What were you doing? I don't know. I was just, I was just driving, and then I, um, I'm so sorry. Oh, just stay calm. You're gonna be absolutely fine. Oh. Right. Look, let's try and lift it off him. Lads, can you give us a hand? Yeah. Lift it off. Try and not move, mate. You may have broken something. All right. On my count. Nice and easy. All right. You okay? I don't Got know. It. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. ah. I just crashed into him. Oh, I'm okay. No, we got to get you checked over. No, seriously, I'm fine. That could have been so much worse. How'd you manage to hit him like that anyway? Look, it was an accident, right? It's like Abby said. Let's be grateful it's not worse, okay? Well, have you in, will you? Yeah, she's right. You need to be seen by a doctor. I'll phone for an ambulance. Oh, no, listen, uh, why don't you take him to A&E with your uh, van? It'd be way quicker. Yeah, he's right. You've got to go. I'll fetch it around. I told you not to drive. All right, Abby. That's enough. Sugar in that love, you're probably still in shock. 
Hey, hi. I uh, came to check on Carla. Yes. Yeah, sure. Come in. How you doing? Uh, Ed texted to say they'd uh, they'd arrived at the hospital. How is Paul? Uh, well, they'll check him over. Um, oh, and by the way, we we got the uh, van back to the factory. Your your bike came off the worst, I'm afraid. Uh, you took off in that thing like a bat out of hell. Yeah, well, I was late for the meeting. Yeah, I know with Dick Havisham, the same meeting you forgot about earlier. Well, I forgot. Yeah, you said you said you thought it had been cancelled, but. <laughs> It had been cancelled, hadn't it? Well, not as far as I'm aware. Sorry, sorry. I, I don't really see how this is helping. I think best drop it for the time being, OK? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, you're sounding better than I feared. He's, uh, he's well known for putting on a brave face. Uh, I'm fine. Seriously. How's Carla? Is she all right? I think she thought she killed me or something. Well, she nearly did. It was an accident. Well, you're certainly more forgiving than I might be in your situation. But in fact, there's, uh, well, there's something about Carla you should probably be made aware of. And what about the van? Any damage? Nothing I'll be in the boys couldn't sort out pretty easy. A quick rub down and respray, Bob's your uncle. Oh, great. Well, we'll see if you can get it booked in for tomorrow, get the uh, Jennings order delivered first thing, then drop it off. Will do, boss. Carla. Hi, Mrs. Barlow. How are you feeling? Yeah, great. Thank you, Kirk. Uh, thanks, Kirk. I didn't expect to see you in here again today. Clearly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, stay. I'm sorry. I really am. For everything. Um, listen, I think I ought to take a little step back. Step back? From running this place just for a while. Oh, oh really? I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, I was wondering, would you and Sarah be able to run this place between you for a while? I mean, is that something you'd be up for? Or, I mean, I, I totally get it if you, you're not. Uh, well, you can rely on me, whatever you need. Whatever this, this place needs, I'm, I'm here to help. 